You know, my dad was a chassis builder and an engine builder, and you know, I was his only boy. <laughs> you know, he wanted a boy, and he got me, and so he just said, well, she's going to do everything that my son would, would have done, you know, and uh, he said, there's no reason why just because she's a girl that she, you know, can't do it. I ended up, I spent every summer working in the shop and, uh, and you know, when I graduated from high school I was just working full time in the shop, uh, building race car bodies at the time. And then I moved to San Diego in 1989 and built race car bodies for Bob Meyer down there. And uh, that was just after Fremont closed, is not it? Yeah. So Fremont was a really special track. You know, uh, it was, uh, you know, obviously run by uh, Georgia Seipel, who is one of my favorite people in the world. And, you know, uh, her son Kyle and I grew up together, and, you know, worked at the track, and then ultimately started driving you know, there. I got my license there. I got my license when I was only 15 and a half. I made my license runs, or almost 16. And uh, the Division uh, 7 director, I think it was Division 6 at the time, then it went back to 7 later. Uh, was Cloy Fitzgerald and he knew that I was not 16 yet you're supposed to be 16 to make license runs and where I left my birth date and my age blank on my uh, my license form and he just was oh, whatever. he just signs it <laughs> so I got my California driver's license on my birthday and then I got my uh, NHRA license in the mail two days later having made my license passes before turning 16. Oh, that's I know. And did you work with um, John Schumacher? Yes. Well, John drove uh, the Renegade um, Pro Comp Dragster. Uh, my dad was the crew chief on that, and Gene Gilmore uh, was the car owner. And so John drove that when I was like five, six years old, seven years old. So I. Uh, or was around them quite a bit, John and Judy. Um, really, like John was very special to me. You know, very, um, very near and dear to my heart. And when I got old enough to drive, you know, he was a very, he was a real mentor to me in that. Because when you think about it, it was just a little tiny down home track. It wasn't. Uh, well, right. I mean, and it was always. Like if it even if there's any hint of rain, you know, water would come up through the the asphalt because it was lower than uh, the water table there. So you know, it was at or just a tiny bit below sea level. I think that's why you know it had the air that it had. It produced the times that uh, that it did. But man, at night, I mean, you had to hold your breath because your your visor was instantly fogged, right? You just see these yellow lights, you know, come on, and so you have to until you start until you're started actually on your run, your visor wouldn't clear up. It was pretty, it was pretty crazy. You could catch some incredible lights that way. I, yeah, I, totally. I found out because everything goes yellow. <laughs> right. So one of, uh, one of the memories I was sharing actually from this day that is in this National Dragster someone gave me from 1988 is when I, the weekend that I debuted the, uh, the, my alcohol dragster and we came out with our first full pass and ran 615, which at the time, the record was a 621. It was held by San Paulo. So it wasn't an NHRA sanctioned event, so it didn't hold as a record, but we were able to back it up the next day. But the next day, and I don't remember Tad Pollock, the, uh, the announcer, he would whip people into a frenzy, right? And I was 16-year-old Mendy Fry for like, Five years. <laughs> I'm like, I'm old enough to drink now, Dad. He goes, you will always be 16-year-old Mindy Fry. <laughs> but next, the next day was first round of eliminations. And as we were staging, as I was staging, I, kept, I, I heard this noise. And I didn't know what it was, right? And it really took me out of the moment, broke my concentration. I'm like, what is that noise? And it was the crowd. I could hear the crowd cheering over the sound of the engine as I was staging. 
and it was just I had to stop for a minute and like refocus because I was just like oh my god that's the crowd how could that be because <laughs> they were right there you know that was really close to the track too so that's a that was a really incredible day of course so I uh, I was late and you know, I got beat even though I was quick for the round so you know, got taken to school a little bit that day, but I guess that's what your uh, your rookie days are, are, are for, right? <laughs>